Now with this particular system, you can see here we've got the VFD actually pictured on the back plate and you can see we've got the exact pinout required for the GX16 male 6 pin connector and the GX16 female 6 pin VFD interface interface cable connector. Now just so everybody understands this interface cable this system uses one cable and you can see this is using my new DS flexion double shielded cable and this one cable controls not only the speed from the VFD as far as being able to manipulate the speed from the VFD through uh, Pumotics in this case, that's what he's using as, as far as uh, software, but he's also able to cycle on and off his relay all from one cable. Now again, these four rules are soldered on, you can see that. They're not just crimped, they are soldered on as well. But again, uh, the full pinout is allocated right to the back of the enclosure. So it does not get any easier than that as far as actually connecting everything. It's all right there. This particular client also wanted to have a touch plate, also known as a tool setter, and input 4 on the G540 is wired. The remaining inputs that are available with these GX16 3-pin connectors have not been wired and that was due to the preference of the client. Now, when I say I build custom systems, guys, these are totally custom, meaning if you say I want one switch wired, I can do one switch. If you say you want the whole system wired, we can do that. Uh, this particular retrofit's a little bit different because Gerber's uh, actually only require three motors, so it is a little cheaper on the client because most chassis the size of a Gerber require usually two motors on the Y-axis. This particular unit only required one, and that's the way most Sabres are set up. But it was mandatory for this client, uh, as they're a company that does a lot of kitchen retrofits, that they wanted spindle control from the actual VFD, and of course they wanted to have uh, the relay natural to, to be able to cycle on and off the uh, spindle at any point. So again, we've got that all integrated with one, kit, one connector, right here is a six pin. And this is why the Master Edition enclosure is what it is. When I get asked, you know, why is this so expensive? Figure in the machining and figure in the fact that one cable controls virtually the biggest amount of control features available, which is the VFD along with the relay features, all on one cable. 